this is Buffy Pribble, and I am doing another video review of a movie called The Crimson Peak. And this time I'm doing a movie review just with me and you on YouTube. I'm not doing periscoping live this time, and I'm going to, uh, and I went and watched this movie one uh, more time again over the weekend. So I have to do this just intimately with you guys and me. And and this is my basic review, and I'm uh, basically this movie is. Um, yeah, uh, it, they ra it's radar, and they, uh, it grossed in over $55 million, and I have not got the up-to-date of how much it's made over the weekend, so that's new, uh, or I should say from last week to this week. So I only know that um, what they put into the movie. It's $55 million, it's 119 minute long, and this movie has been released just short of last week. Um, that would be, uh, yeah, October 16. And I have to tell you, there's a lot of things in here in my notes that, you know, um, for those who are the, uh, if you are a big fan of uh, Bern uh, Gorman, and if you have remembered him from this show called Revenge, he has played the, uh, the character named Trask. I mean, that's... I was like uh, excited the first time when I saw him at the end, and, and I'm still excited to see him the second time I went and saw him this time around. And I really like this movie because if you if, if I had to watch this movie twice or three times in a theater, doesn't it tell you that I really like this movie that much? Just, I, I love horror movies. I love the fact that I like it a little bit of excitement. But also, I like to see how they do it in the behind the scene. I'm more of, a, I want to know what, uh, okay, how they make that scene just so spookier. But yeah. You have to remember, on set, they don't do any of those special effects sound that we hear in the movie. You have to keep, keep that in mind. They're trying to do it like based off of what they could think of, that noise coming into in their mind when they turn that little head of theirs going into the next scene or you're just stopping and then, you know, uh, it's just, it's very unique. Uh, going from, uh, from on set do the editing, and then you, and then of course on big screen we see it. I was trying to watch it again just to see if there's any uh, glitches that I didn't see the first time around. I like how they brought into the, this, you know, like in and out capture rather than just blanking out to the white screen or to the black screen, going to the next scene. So they kind of draw that little circle in and draw it circle out sometimes. I like how they did that in the, in that uh, in some scenes in the movie. I thought, hey, that is perfect. As you can see, I have everything on Halloween. And I try to dress the part for them. And it's because it was a very, in the 1940-ish, 50 ish style. So I tried to look my best to look for the part for the movie that I talk about. Um, I mean, it has great cast. I mean, Tom Hilton is a great actor. And if you have not recognized him, uh, or if you do know him, and if you are a big fan of the Avengers, and of course, Age of oh, uh, the first one, and then of course... <laughs> And Thor, you know, uh, he's also played in that as Loki. If you have not uh, seen those, you'll have to go watch those yourself. Um, he has done a fabulous job as this another point of view, the perspective as an actor. I mean, he has done a wonderful job trying to play that innocent little bad slash villain kind of mix into it. But I think the more of the story, I think the sister was more of a villain rather than the, than the brother. Yeah, you know, which t Sir Thomas uh, and then uh, Sharp, and then you got s Sister uh, Lucille, uh, uh, Lady, of course, uh, Lady Lucille Sharp, has, I think she was more of a, uh, the villain, more uh, into this, uh, into the story, and this some kind of a interesting uh, relationship. I'm not going to go into spoilers, I'm not going to go into far detail, because you have to go and see it yourself. You can see there's a little bit of um, twist and turn, uh, stories that, you know, it really reminded me a little bit of that relationship value that these two have projected themselves as brothers and sister. If you weren't, if you have not seen the movie called Sleepwalker, it kind of gives you that little bit of variation of how that they keep things in the family, if you catch my drift. Please, uh, you know, if you have not seen it or you're really interested, please check that movie out and you can kind of relate to Crimson Peak slash, you know, and then it kind of the idea of a family value into the sleepwalker, you'll uh, get the full story of that. Um, 
I kind of, uh, what I do is I relate to how does the, uh, uh, the character, I mean, as an actor, did they actually pull that uh, audience in? Did they tell you that, that story that you're wanting to hear? I mean, um, I think they executed very well in this movie. If you, I mean, again, if I've seen it uh, the, set, uh, the first time and I have to see it again the second, maybe third or fourth. I mean, if it was in theater up until a month, I'd probably go see it again over two more times. And, of course, I can't wait till it comes on DVD and Blu-ray. And at some point in I would think that I wish I was seeing some of this, you know, some of this special effect into the 3D. Uh, but more of it is all GFI, you know, the... Um, computer generated like pretend ghosts coming at you I mean it I would have to say the trailer has caught you uh, your eye as a, more of a spookier feeling rather than when you go in the movie it does not feel that whole lot of spooky I mean I kind of jumped a little bit maybe not too much off to my seat but I pretty, pretty much was grounded and enjoying the story I enjoyed you know this movie um I don't know there's not very much out of here I can tell you the um uh, the guy who, um, you, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this has made it to the Comic-Con, just to give you all an idea that this movie is based, uh, uh, went to the Comic-Con, so they actually got lucky to go into that, you know, uh, in San Diego Comic-Con, and then another thing is, uh, here, yeah, because the filming is basically, they did a lot of it in, uh, Canada and Toronto studios, I mean, it, it, it's very unique. Um, because I did a little bit of research of where they filmed these, uh, this movie at, and they did a little bit more in Canada, you know, and then there's, uh, it, it, the movie's based in New York, I'm not too sure if they actually filmed it in New York, they may have done it at a different site, to pretend it is a faux New York, I call it, oh great, you're doing it on the faux set, um, there's another, uh, I mean, based on these people's review, they rated a B minus, and I really don't agree with that because I do agree that uh, to myself, and I will say it again, it is an A uh, plus movie, and um, and then overall the A plus uh, plus, uh, the character and the cast member, I mean, everyone on set has ex executed that story to the, to the max. I mean... There wasn't a dull moment. There wasn't the time, uh, time that I really wanted to get up and out of my seat because I think it was boring. No. I mean, again, if I have seen this twice, you doesn't that tell you that I like that movie that much that maybe you all should go see it yourself? Um, but I mean, it, it's very... Uh, it, it's a, a basically a love romance slash gothic kind of romance mixed with a little bit of horror, a little bit of drama, a little bit of... Uh, yeah. Uh, romance is not so much of a... a or a teeny bit of a... Uh, thriller, but it's not direct in one category. It's like mixed, all different mixed, intermix of uh, category. I mean, you're going to see a little bit of this and a little bit of that coming in. And I mean, I wouldn't touch the most point. It has really caught my eyes. It really, I, I just fell in love with their outfits. The fashion of the show, uh, of this movie, is just so breathtaking. I cannot for the life of me. I mean, they have this like a hand, you know, like this, you know, belt that looks right here on their, uh, on a, a, um, you know, Edith's, uh, you know, skirt or something like that. I just thought it was just, my eyes caught right dead center in that thing. I mean, that was the first thing, my first impression I saw that right there. I was like, <gasps> oh my God, that is a unique thing. Another thing that Edith was wearing that really caught my eyes in the first impression is her outfit. It was white. Beautiful, like a ball gown kind of thing, and it's got pearls from back here over a looping, and it's down here, and it's all kind of like tied into the dress, and it's beautiful. It's got a little train, and it's all like off white. I mean, it's beautiful, breathtaking outfit. And that's why another thing I kind of, if the fashion fits with the story, and the fashion kind of catches me to uh, stay with the story, I. It's merely the key element to make this movie perfect. I mean, any movies you see, you're going uh, you're gonna to make sure that that is the key element of that uh, what you're watching because you want to make sure that's a fashion match. Does the, uh, the set design match? I mean, you know, it, um, the color, you know, of the, uh, of, you know, is it too, uh, too dark uh, or is the dress a little too uh, bright uh, and it doesn't really match with, you know, the scene of, you know, whatever they're doing on set, 
Yeah, you have to kind of look like, okay, now this match, this match, okay, the character match. I mean, you know, when you have all these elements to make this perfect little set uh, on, you know, uh, practically on screen, um, and you have everything cert uh, all fit right together like a puzzle, then it's going to be a rocking great movie from the beginning to the end. And everything has to ex execute for each scene. You have to break everything, uh, and that's what I do. Um, so, I mean, did you feel like that? You were fulfilled in that first scene to the second scene? Was it, uh, did they think they needed to fill in a little bit more? Did you need a little bit more information to get your, you know, it's like a mystery kind of movie. And also, there's a little bit of that too. It's like a mystery. Um, you're wondering, okay, Edith is going to find out all the stories about what happened in this, uh, Crimson Peak house. Well, it's a very unique, um, mansion. I am not going to lie. I rather do like it because, I mean, other than the terror, uh, we're in terror of the house. I mean, it's thousands of years old, I, I believe. Um, or a hundred. It, it's just a, this house is just, okay, it, it is beautiful. I mean, I, I just like that whole unique of a, you know, the antique style. I like the, the staircase. It's like, I would think there's like three or four stories of this house. I mean, four stories. And I was like, <gasps> The entrance of this house, the hallway, every single thing in this whole movie is just so beautifully crafted. I mean, the staircase, everything, all things in each scene is beautiful, uh, breathtaking, crafted, especially Edith and her father's house. I'm not going to go into that story because you're going to have to find out yourself. Um, but, you know, it, uh, the, it's basically a two-part story going in one movie. You got finish up this door over here and once she moved into her with her husband uh sir thomas you know um and then uh moved into the crimson peak house and she doesn't know about it yet i mean this way she's kind of it, there's two part story i mean you know you got to finish up the story over here and then you got to finish up the story there and then you got to finish up the story so basically you're going to have the act one act two and act three i mean this is perfect i mean i can figure out which point all right that's first act that's second act that's third act you can tell. Some movies are so fast, and especially when it's action kind of movies, you can't tell when it's the first, second, and third act. You go, uh, uh, uh. it was too busy. I don't know what part was I supposed to get. I mean, this is a perfect executed movie of A++. I can't tell you enough. I mean, you have to go see it for yourself. And I'm a huge horror uh, film collector. I mean, there's many horror movies I love. I mean, I, I don't know. I just like I think I like most of it is the makeup. I like the fact is how they, you know, the hours that they spent in those chairs, getting those makeup on. <laughs> and, and we all have to think this one thing clear is not real. It is not real. Everything in the horror movie is all staged in makeup. <laughs> People have to remember that. It's, they're just there to make you scary. And if it, if it makes you scary, it did its job. I mean, that's all I can say. If a scary movie makes you scary, that's the whole point, right? And then plus, it's a good adrenaline rush to jump off that chair and then, oh my God, what happened? Can you believe it? And then, of course, there was a lot of scenes in that movie. I can still remember it beautifully in my head. It's just like it stuck in my head after I left the theater. It stayed with me. I mean, I just, I, I am so wanting to, I can't wait for it to come out on, on you know, video now. I mean... I want to have this into my collection so I can watch it anytime I want. And I just love the color of this, uh, and set design. Everything. It's just so perfect in this movie. I don't know how much more I can convince you all to go see it. I mean, I can do my best. And I can probably do a 48-hour marathon and probably talk your ears off of it. But I will tell you that it is a total, complete, good movie to go see. What more can I say? I mean, it is perfect A++. Obviously, you got my double approval. I mean, my first one, I uh, got for my first video, uh, non-periscope, so I'm just doing this be between you and me. And, of course, with my notes here. Uh, I always print out my notes now so I can start, you know, uh, kind of go over some points. But I'm, there's a lot of plot uh, point in here that I could probably go off and read it, but obviously, if I start reading it, I it, it is a total, complete spoiler alert. So... I would actually suggest that you'll have to do your research, uh, do the behind the scenes stuff, uh, go to YouTube like I post everything on YouTube, just check out everything, everything you want to know about the movie.
print, uh, you know, Crimson Peak, I mean, behind the scenes, you can see everything and see how well they put a lot of work into that movie. I mean, it, it's just phenomenal, breathtaking. The, I, I, uh, I think it's a great performance art, you know, and that's why I look at it. I look at it more than just one side. I don't look at it just, oh, it's just a movie. No, it's not. It's more than that. You have to look at every single breakdown point and what makes this a great movie and how did it execute and how did it brought the viewers in. Yeah, I mean, uh, the first time I went and saw it, I wanted to go to the back room, but I didn't. I wanted to know how it ended. That's how good it did. I mean, I sh literally, my butt was glued to the chair. You have my full uh, divided attention with me and the movie. There's nobody around, you know, even though there's some in the, in the audience in the back of me, I, I just kind of tuned them out because it was just me and the screen and the movie. I don't even know if there's anybody in the theater. And that's how good. If the movie could pull you in that way and there's nobody around you watching this, it did a good job. That's about the best I could do. So anyways, I hope you all love uh, my uh, little creepy Halloween, you know, uh, version slash Princess Peak style of the decor I try to <laughs> betray. I mean... I'm not going to have a full of blood all over my table, of course. <laughs> um, but anyways, I hope I kind of did everything I, I point out for you to uh, go see it. Please go see this movie. It is good. It's still out in theater. And uh, if it's not, please go buy it as soon as it comes to the to any store near, your, near you. And buy it as fast as you can because it is a good movie to buy. I give it a double approval. Uh, I mean, double A positive. You know, I mean... What more can you ask for? It is just a perfect movie. So anyways, other, uh, I thank you for all for watching. You know where to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And of course, um, I do Periscope Live very rarely. But yeah, you can follow me there. Um, you can also follow me here on YouTube. You su subscribe, which is right there. You can comment below. And you can hit like or dislike if you like this video. If I help you out enough. To convince you to go see this movie. If not, if you dislike it, I don't care. That's a good positive because it tells me that I need to work better. I need to convince you better. When I get those dislike uh, thumbs down, that's, I mean, that tells me I need to work harder to get you guys to convince to go see a movie. And if I see the thumbs up, I did a good job. But if I see a lot more of those, I need to convince you more. Uh, other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful night. Please go see the movie. Crimson Peak is still in theater right now. Uh, I'll probably be in theater in probably the next couple weeks. Um, depending on the uh, population of which theater that holds it the most. I mean, my area, town is a very small population. We are lucky to get some movies that, uh, that comes in, but it may be one week earlier compared to other theaters that gets faster than I do. So it takes a little bit longer for me to post them. So I hope I look all oh, this beautiful part. It kind of reminds me of this beautiful dress that, um, you know, you know, lady, you know, Lucille kind of wore. She wore this green st uh, style of dress with like the little black in her dress. Not because I want to be like her. It's just I try to look like the part. Other than that, have a wonderful night. And thank you all again for watching. And you know where to follow me. Please subscribe, please. And you all have a wonderful night. And please, please, please go see Crimson Peak. I love it. I love it so much. I have to, I mean, I had to do it again. I had to do the review one more time for y'all to see it again. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.